Hi friends, welcome to WebChamp. In this video, I am going to discuss how to convert your row level data into the column level data or column level data into the row level data. And for that purpose, in the Power BI, we have operations called transpose, pivot, and unpivot columns. Okay, so these options are available inside Power Query. And what you can do, you can change the data from a row to column level. So uh, before okay, going to the uh, these operations, we will understand what is mean by row level data, what is mean by column level data. Suppose there is an entity, entity called a person. Okay, so there is a one person. Okay, there is a one person. And if I am going to present his data in the rows, name, email, okay, contact, contact. So in this way, okay, in this way, if I have a table here, I will say person one, name is A, okay, and uh, email is A at the red gmail.com and contact number is suppose 9999. So entire data is presented for one entity in the row, okay. Similarly, I can have any number of data in a rows, but but I would like to convert this data into column level data, meaning, okay, what I need to do, I want the person name or person number, okay, to be presented as a one column, one column, then its name, okay, then, sorry not on the next, but in the same column, it's name, then it's email, email and then it's contact number. Suppose if I would like to present my data in this way, so we can say this is column level data. One column is going to contain the data for one entity, one entity, one object. Okay. So this, if I say person two, three, four, four and five. So I have a five persons and their data is sitting in the row. Each row is representing a data for one person, right? So in that case, or if you have a table like this, so you can say the row level data. So this is your data at row level. And if all of your, this data, okay. If all these, your data, Okay, you have a data and in vertical column for one entity. Okay, then you can say column level data. You can say column level data, right? So this is the data at column level. One column contain data, one person or one entity's data. Right, so there may be a situation while working with data sets that you are supposed to transpose this data you are supposed to transpose this data. Transpose means what? Convert a row level data into a column level data or convert a column level data into row level data. Any operation could be considered as a transpose. Any operation could be considered as a transpose. Now suppose I would like to transpose the table which you can see here in the column a and b of this or this this is marked as a table so this is this is all about understanding your understanding of for your understanding for row level data and column level data now i would like to transpose this column okay and here you can see that one row is representing the data for one entity in one row so we can say this is a row level data i what i, I would like to do i would like to transpose this data whenever i try to transpose this data what will happen my column headers will change into okay uh, into a vertical alignment like uh, here i have a name and email in one co one row that will be changed to one column okay then other data will be changed accordingly and if i go here and if i simply say value 
Okay, and here if I select transpose in Excel, we have option. So what happens now? Now my data for each person is presented by one column is presented by one column. So now I can say that my data got converted to the column level data from row level data. My data got converted to the row level data. And this is what happening in Power BI also. So now let's understand what or how this operation works. So if I open this transpose query editor inside the transform transform tab, there is an option called transpose. There is an option called transpose. If I click on this, okay, what will it will do? It will convert my rows. Okay, it will convert my rows into columns. Rows into columns. Okay, and yes, but in case of Excel, what we did, we copied uh, column headers. Okay, in the uh, sorry uh, row headers. I mean, vertically, if you look, these are the column headers. But as a uh, row headers, we presented them. But in case of Power BI, that is what not going to happen. Okay, your column headers will gone. Okay, that will not come in place of row headers. Okay. And what will happen with your columns and what will be there as a column header? So in power BI, our BI will add custom column names. Okay. Column one, column two, column three, column four. So as long as you have the list of data, it will create those many columns for each of the row. Every row is changed here. You can see that we have a one row with detail called a name a and email a at the rate gmail.com but in next step you can see that we have a one column for that specific row so here what we can say that we, our row data row level data is getting converted into the column level data similarly vice versa operation you can perform if i again click on transpose you can see that again your data being back to its original position but your headers will not be back. Okay. Your headers will not be back. So you need to manually change the header names, name and email. So this is how transpose operation works. Transpose means converting your data into the column or row level data into the column level data or column level data into the row level data. Okay. This is all about transpose operation. This is all about transpose operation. Next operation we can or we, we have to see is what is mean by pivot column. Okay. What is mean by pivot column? So suppose uh, you have a data in single row. Sorry, you have a data in column level. Okay. What we can do? We can go here and how we can see that here I have a data in column level. Why? Because I can say that my employee name is getting repeated. Okay. Is getting repeated three times in the same column, right? In the same column, in the same column. And uh, on another column for the same employee, we have different months. We have a different months. Okay, January month, February month, March month, and their income in that particular month. So this is how we have a data. Okay, and your data is still presented in row. Okay, one row for one month, second row for second month, third row for third month. Like this, you have a data. So your data is in row level data. Your, we can say that what we can say, your our data is in row level data and I would like to convert this data into column level data. Yes, I can do that Okay, by using transpose operation. Yes, I can do that, but I don't want to do this with all the columns. Okay. I don't want to do this with all the columns. Then what do you need to do? Okay. Or how pure operation works. Transpose, we have seen very easy task, but in case of pivot, initially it looks very difficult, but it is not. Okay. What you are supposed to do, you are supposed to select a single column. You are supposed to select a single column from which the values will be your column headers. So suppose if I, 
okay come here and this is what my table if i copy this table okay i will copy this to another tab here and now what i want my table this table should get changed in such a way that in in the place of employee okay or in the column of employee my unique value should remains okay call a b c i don't want uh data to be or employee data to be repeated employee names to be repeated okay repeated then i want to transpose the column i need to transpose but i don't need to transpose this employee okay instead i i would like to keep this as it is i would like to keep this as it is what i will do i will select this column okay and i will apply the pivot operation on this column why because uh, all the months okay how many months are there january february march all the three months to be get converted into column mm -hmm. headers okay this is what my requirement this is what my requirement i would i would like to convert only the month and income in in column level in column level okay so what i will do i will copy this and i will click here I will say okay and transpose. So, all right. So this is how it works. This is how it works. Okay, fine. So what we have Jan month, Feb month, March month data. So what we did instead of keeping nine rows, instead of keeping nine rows, okay, we have created a table in such a way that our employee first column should remain as it is okay only column i have selected is may, uh, month column and that column's value to be converted as a column headers to be converted as a column headers okay and this is what happened here right now how to put the value what you can do you can go to the column uh, employee name and followed by month whatever will be the value in front of that you are supposed to pick that value and paste here okay for the February month, employee will be A. Okay, right. Then for the next month, employee will be A. Right. So for one employee, you are going to change the view. Okay. Partially, you have converted. Partially, the, your table will be transposed. Okay. In pivot operation. And similarly, you can do this for b employee also c employee also and d employee also so this is what going to happen in case of okay for the month of january and employee b you have a value called one two eight seven one so you can see here and you can see here the values are currently matched right so same thing it, it will work for next next rows okay so in case of pivot what happens in case of pivot your row level data gets converted into column level data but you are supposed to not transpose not convert all of your all of your columns right all of your columns or all of your uh, column data so in pivot you you can select only two columns okay you can select only two columns first column is pivot column and second column is a value column so if you need two columns okay first what column you are supposed to use to convert that data uh, or data of that column to be as a column headers and value against that headers in that case your pivot will work so what I will do, I will select month column here and I will click on pivot column. So here it will ask you the value columns. Okay. Since we have uh, already selected month. So it says use name in the month in the column month to create new columns, right? So pivot column is going to create new columns based on the values of selected columns, right? 
and here if you want to aggregate you can aggregate if you don't want to aggregate you can say don't aggregate and I say okay say okay what happened your number of rows are reduced duplicate values from employee columns are removed for each value one row is created so what we can say that our column label data is converted into row level data here earlier in earlier stage okay we had a data into the one column this is what our column level data okay so one entity employee employee name name is represented in one column okay multiple times so here that data is getting converted into the one row so for one employee we have only one row for another employee we have only one row for next employee and for c employee d okay for all the months so this type of operation is called pivot operation okay so this type of operation is called pivot operation right so next operation is unpivot unpivot is exactly vice versa of your pivot operation exactly vice versa exactly okay earlier what we did we uh, converted our column level data into the row level data now we are going to convert row level data into a column level data okay so that this is what happening in unpivot unpivot is exactly vice versa operation from this kind of table what you can do you are supposed to repeat these names multiple times in same column okay in same column in same column for each of the month so i will say okay month and a b c d okay then month next month i will pick i will select a b c d next month i will pick and i will select a b c d so in this way uh, your data will get transposed and now what you can do you can select a jan month value you are supposed to copy from this and keep the here so again like our earlier table employee month and income this is what our earlier table before performing the unpivot operations right so we can say that unpivot is exactly opposite operation of pivot column okay b call b employee jan month b employee jan month this value comes here in actual practice uh this this will not follow any sequence okay automatically everything happens so we don't have control on this like this you cannot say that you know, all your employee names will get first and then based on on the month your data will get sorted like this okay nothing will happen so let's see how this works so in case of unpute operation okay what you can do if you want to repeat the value of employee column okay if you want to repeat the value of employee column you are supposed to select that okay you are supposed to select go to the unpivot here you have multiple options called unpivot column suppose if you wants to use unpivot column what you can do the column you are supposed to select the columns which are to be converted right if you want to use unpivot other columns the column which are not selected other columns means we columns which are not selected so i will select employee call employee first and i'm the i want employee column should not get transposed instead its val value should get repeated for the number of columns that are getting transposed okay and i what i will do i will say unpivot other columns and here you can say that your data your new column headers will get added as an attribute and value okay so attribute is nothing but your column headers that are converted into the okay one 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 row level data that is what represented okay so it's a bit confusing row level and when to say column level but you can say that uh pivot and unpivot and transpose all the three operations are used to convert the data from low level data to column level data month and i will say income okay so this is what you are actually table in 
PO right so this was your actual tables same thing we got here in unpivot also so this is all about pivoting unpivoting and transpose in power bi i hope uh, you like the content of this video thank you so much for watching the video have a nice day